Welcome to this short guide on how to access our parental web applications for Arbor, Satchel One and the payment system Scopay. We'll be focusing on the websites for these systems but mobile apps are also available and we'll be taking a quick look at the features of these apps at the end. So we start from the school website. Top right you'll find our portals and select parents and students. This gives you access to the common links to apps that students and parents need to access. We'll be focusing on Arbor, Satchel One, and just below Satchel One, Scope. So first of all, Arbor, which is our school information management system. The link on the portal will take you to our Arbor homepage and it's best to use this rather than a general web search. If you're a registered parent, including new parents from around March in year six, you can use the first time logging in button, but the forgot your password will do the same thing. Entering your email address will prompt their system to send you a link via email. Just change your password and set it to what you want it to be. Once you have your email and your password set, you can enter these into the login page and click login. You'll reach the dashboard for your child, and this is a real dashboard for one of our real students, so obviously personal details such as name and in some cases form group have been blurred out. Students will also have access to their own dashboard once enrolled in the school using their school email address. So let's see some of the things you can do using the Arbor web app. Well first, over on the top left, the green View Student Profile button gives you direct access to view the information we have about your child. Much of the information can be corrected or adjusted, giving you full control and avoiding you having to contact the school to do things like change your phone number. So for example, clicking on the student address, you can then select edit and change the details of the address. Further down the student profile, the section on family, guardians and contacts shows you the parents and contacts we may contact in an emergency. You'll only see your own details here to maintain data privacy, but the details here can be changed in the same way, for example, changing your mobile number, something that may happen when you change mobile contracts. Back to the student profile, over on the left, you'll see the previous and next lessons listed, but underneath that, the student calendar. This shows the timetable for the current school week, but you can use the date picker to select a different date or move forward and back a whole week at a time. Up at the top of the portal, you'll see the statistics data with details of attendance and positive and negative behaviour points, with most positive points coming from achievement points. Clicking on these will give you full details of all of the points achieved. Likewise, clicking on attendance will give you a quick summary of the attendance to date and the by date option on the left gives you full access to the attendance marks for every day of the school year so far. Right, back to the school website, and we're going to take a look now at Satchel One, which is our homework app. Now, when you access this as a parent, be sure to select Parent at the top. And if you've already got a Satchel One account for another student at the school or at another school, just sign in. If you haven't used it before, click I don't have an account yet. Find Norton Natural School, enter your email, and then the parental code we've provided. The sheets with details of the code for your child is usually issued towards the end of the first week of term in September for new students, once all students have been correctly synced with their system. Now you're looking at an account with two students, at two different schools. If you have only one child, it will take you straight to their homepage. Now, account settings on the top left allows you to change your details. And in the bottom right of this section, there's a bit to add a parental code for an existing account. Once you're on your child's homepage, you'll see the to-do list, which is your view of their homework. And this is the same view they will see. Homeworks are listed in order of due date. You can also see past homeworks, and when crossed through, these are the ones the student has marked as complete. And there's an overdue section too. Clicking on a homework will give you details of the task, including attachments and web links. Results and discussion allows the student to send messages to their teacher. You'll be notified if a teacher posts a comment to the class or to your child individually. The calendar from the link on the left gives a handy overview of all the homework set. 
Faded homeworks are ones that have already reached the deadline. Bright homeworks are ones that are currently active. So finally, back to the website, let's take a look at the Scopay web app. Now you'll be given sign-in details to Scopay either as part of the pack before the end of Year 6 or shortly into Year 7. If you have any issues with accessing the system, please contact finance at nks.kent.sch.uk or your child's student support manager. Once you're signed up, you can log in using your email address and your password. Each of the product sections have different offers available such as locker key deposits and trips and events. Now to make a payment, you find the item, click on Make Payment, enter the amount to pay and add to basket. Now you can continue to add more items if you want to and when you're ready, you can click the basket in the top right and confirm you want to check out. If you're using a payment card for the first time, give it a nickname and it will remember the details next time. Enter your card details in the usual way, your CVV number and click pay. And after a short while, assuming the details are correct, the payment will be confirmed. Now, as noted before, all three of these systems have mobile apps for parents. Only Satchel One has an app that actually works for students. But for parents, they work in the same way as the web apps. If you've created your account and confirmed it works in the web app, the mobile app may be a more convenient way to quickly drop in and use your mobile device. Functionality varies. The Arbor app, for example, doesn't allow you to see your child's timetable. So many parents bookmark the web app on their mobile browser and add an icon to their phone's home screen that opens the website. Both are possible and it's your choice. All three apps have extensive help sections. Hit the help on the website and browse through to parental help. And you can easily find an answer or a quick video to help you get, what you get done what you need to do. A final health warning is that these apps are in live development, so functions may differ a bit to the versions that you've seen in this video. Do let us know via your student support manager in the first instance if there's any issue with using these powerful systems. Thanks very much for watching.